Leon Balogun has returned to the mighty Glasgow Rangers. And uh, yeah, one year deal. We knew this was going to happen after yesterday. And am I glad it's happened? Yeah, kind of made my point yesterday about the fact that I think we need them. It's on a free and it realistically should get done. Now, at the same time, I understand why some people disagree with this. I, I really do. Because at the end of the day, we're, we're signing a 35-year-old. But it's one of those ones where I think King's out injured for a significant amount of time. Why not bring someone we know who can do a job in? It's a safe option, but damn it. It's our wee safe option. And he loves the club. I know, I know we can't just, you know... Hand out contracts to people who love the club, or else you would have a lot of players for Rangers. But at the end of the day, um, Rangers FC are delighted to welcome at Leon Balogun back to Rangers with the central defender signing a one year deal with the club, subject to international clearance. Damn. And as you can see, here is the official article on rangers.com.co.uk. Uh, Rangers delight to welcome back Leon Balogun back to Rangers with the central defender sign a one year deal with the club subject to international clearance. Uh, manager Michael Beale has previously spoken of his desire to add experience to his squad. Balogun certainly bringing that both as a member of Beale's playing squad but also a leader around the dressing room. Balogun had an excellent two years from 2020 to 2022. And Ibrox contributed to the delivery of Title 55, the Scottish Cup, and also the Europa League final. Also, in 2020, he spent his last year at QPR. He also has Bundesliga pedigree, having Hanover, Werder Bremen, Fortuna Dusseldorf, Mainz. Uh, Premier League experience with Brighton, uh, obviously Nigeria. He made it to the World Cup and the African Cup of Nations. He becomes the seventh signing of the summer for Beale. And speaking of after his arrival at the team's training camp in Germany, Balogun commented, I'm just excited to be honest. I am still a bit unreal, but it's very real. So I'm mean, really, really happy to be back at Rangers. It feels like coming home. Fantastic, that's what we wanted to see, but let's see what you guys said, I put up a poll earlier on today, it was actually just before it got announced, but let's see what the fans have got to say about it, will it be as split as Antonio Cholak, something tells me it won't be. As you can see, I said Leon Balogun return, I put that up like three hours ago, uh, but 87 votes so far, 83% have voted yes, 17% have voted no, so it's a pretty big majority, can't really dispute that, six thumbs up and... I agree with it. Get Balogun back. He'll do a job. Will he get re-signed for another year next year? Probably not, but we'll see how it goes for the big man. Anyway, our first comment of the day, overall P79, says, should never have let the big guy go. He was a great kit defender for us. Was a bit baffled by it. Absolutely. I don't see why he was uh, got rid of him, to be honest. But it was Geo, and Geo had different methods to the madness. Like I said in a video the other day, I would have rather just kept Balogun rather than spend like four million on Ben Davies, but it is what it is. Moving on, John Lamy says, welcome, welcome, welcome home, Leon Balogun. Absolutely. And Balogun's been calling it home as well, so he's absolutely loving it. And in the final comment today, Gavin, Gavhen Rad, Gavin Rad says, was never happy we got rid of him in the first place. Uh, I would say end of quote, uh, but yeah, I don't understand why we did get rid of him, but I think it was more just about Geo, because obviously Beal actually took him at QPR, so it'd be interesting to see how it's going to go, but it just shows you how things goes in life though, because Beal signed Balogun, they both left Rangers, and now here they are both back at Rangers, but anyway guys, I think Leon Balogun will do a good role for us, we're six days away from our first pre-season game against Newcastle United, McGregor's testimonial, of course. But until then, peace.